Well, the mortgage fraud trial for former top Baltimore prosecutor Marilyn Mosby was cut short today without explanation from the judge. Mosby's ex husband and Baltimore City Council President Nick Mosby showed up at the courthouse where he may testify for her defense. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live in Greenbelt with the wrap up of the busy day in court. Mike. Nikki, a lot of drama here in court today. The prosecution rested its case. The defense called just one witness, Marilyn Mosby's former postal worker, who said she never personally handed Mosby any mail, which would include multiple IRS tax delinquency notices that Mosby says she never knew about. Then the judge held a close to the public session, and she dismissed the jurors until tomorrow. Any comment today, Ms. Mosby? Marilyn Mosby walks out of court after the prosecution rests its mortgage fraud case against her. The government says her lies are in black and white, checking no to the question of whether she has any delinquent federal debts and yes, that one of her Florida vacation homes was her primary residence. Newly released evidence includes documentation of a $5,000 gift Nick Mosby gave to Marilyn, which prosecutors say was not a gift at all. Rather, Marilyn funded it through her own account and lied about shifting money around to close on her vacation property. Hey, how are you guys doing? You're here to testify? I'm here. Nick Mosby could be the star defense witness. He showed up at court today. She's blamed him for tax debts she claims she never knew about. But the Baltimore City Council president never got a chance to take the witness stand after court dismissed early under a shroud of secrecy. The judge abruptly ending proceedings with Mosby's defense team insisting whatever happened was not their fault. And defense attorneys, without naming Nick Mosby, said they had a witness here and ready to testify. Here's what Nick Mosby said leaving court. What's up for the curtain? Uh, you have to talk to the, uh, the, the government. I'm just here to support my family. Can you guys tell us anything about what caused the delay today? Defense attorneys declined to comment when they left. Maryland law professor Doug Colbert was in the courtroom when it all went down. I haven't seen this scenario before, but clearly there are good reasons for what the judge is doing, and the judge doesn't want to share those reasons at this point because there are pending motions. So everything would be a mere speculation on anyone's part. And Mosby's defense team filed a motion to acquit her because they say her alleged crimes did not happen here in Maryland. The judge has yet to rule on that. Court resumes at 9.30 in the morning. Live in Greenbelt, Mike Helgren, WJZ.